Wizard is a very interesting piece. Do you know that this piece is based on a story about an orphaned boy who turned into a wizard to battle the dark forces of evil, similar to that of Harry Potter? Before we finish, I would like to share with you two quick tips on how you can play this better. First, I would like to talk about the harmonic in bar 27. Leading into bar 27, you have a series of loud open string E at fortissimo. So we make sure that we really project the big this sound, and we try to do it somewhere in the middle part of the bow. Now, all of these open string notes is good for you to take advantage and start preparing for the harmonic note. Right. When it comes to the fourth finger harmonic note, I suggest not playing as how you would normally place the fourth finger, but instead try to stretch it straight completely, like what I'm doing now, and even you can open up the hand something like this. The reason for us to do this is so that it can be easier for us to consistently place the fourth finger at that note. This is the tricky bit with harmonic because if you are just a little bit off, you don't really produce a good sound, right? So we want it to be. Second, we direct our attention to the final part of the piece. We have the su tasto, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, and then two bars after you have the su tasto extremo, right? So what we have to do here is that you really want to project that sort of mysterious disappearing element of the music as we approach the ending. Instead of playing the bow like how we normally do, we will break the rule for once and place the bow on the fingerboard, okay? And that is for the first time, su tasto, and once it comes in, we will go even a little bit further, all right? So according to the description of the music, this is to mimic the sound of one blowing into the milk bottle. Um, so we have this. And then this. Right, this kind of sound. So we make sure that that note, of course, right hand is very, very light. And of course, this will become harder uh, because the strings get closer to each other. And so you want to make sure that you are not bumping into other strings. If you enjoy this video and find it useful, it will mean a lot to me just by clicking the like button below, comment, and remember to subscribe if you want to see more contents in the future. All right, that's it. I will see you next time. Good luck with the practice.